I'm David Wayne, and as all of you are, I'm concerned with the world in which we're going to live tomorrow. A world in which a new machine, the digital computer, may be of even greater importance. Well, then by following the complicated steps that a computer takes, the steps and stages in solving a problem, can you learn how uh, or more about how the nervous system works? Well, what you can learn is a good deal about thought processes, or at least simulated thought processes by this method, but it's very dangerous to carry this analogy too far. Hardly a day goes by that we don't hear about it. It's called AI for artificial intelligence. Intelligent cars, smartphones, intelligent computers, surveillance systems. Little by little, it's popping up everywhere around us. In the medical field, in business, at home, in transportation, the artificial intelligence revolution of the world. Facebook hired him in 2013 to create and lead a research institute at the very heart of the multinational. They named it FAIR, Facebook Artificial Intelligence Research. Reshaped by artificial intelligence. All of the ways that we do things, right, all aspects of our lives will be changed somehow. Today, the advancement of these intelligent machines seems limitless. Are they destined to overtake us, or even replace us? If by definition a superintelligence is able radically to outperform us at all cognitive... Well, if I told you all about my particular problem, could you solve that on a computer? Well, it'd probably no. take a well, psychiatrist. That's my problem. <laughs> I think I better ask my question over again. You have to tell a computer what to do. In other words, all of the computers that we've seen uh, have been programmed, that is, have been told by men what to do. Yes, but you know, that's really not a valid argument because there's every evidence that men are programmed too, that is, they have certain built-in programming. The concept of artificial intelligence was born in 1956 in the United States under the impetus of a group of scientists including Marvin Lee Minsky from MIT and John McCarthy from Stanford. Their definition is simple. Any computer program that accomplishes tasks normally reserved for humans because of their ability to think. And it's always been very interesting to me in AI, in many areas of AI, that you can actually write a piece of software that becomes smarter than yourself. Well, the computer is a relatively new thing, and we're just really getting an appreciation for the full range of its usefulness. Many people think it's going to spark a revolution that will change the face of the Earth almost as much as the first Industrial Revolution did. Blind, the one-eyed man is king. 